Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are looking at fractions and decimals and being able to convert a back and forth, making decimals into fractions and fractions into decimals. Let's start with fractions into decimals. To do this, uh, we've got a couple of options. Uh, the option I like best is seeing if the denominator uh, can go evenly into 10 or 100 or 1,000 or maybe even 10,000. Uh, but the reason it's those powers of 10 is because uh, decimals are powers of 10. Uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. So if we can make a, a fraction, make an equivalent fraction with one of those denominators, we're going to be in good shape. That doesn't work out all the time, though, so our second option is just to divide. The top divided by the bottom making sure we get the right number in the box. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Let's do a few together. Example one, we've got two-fifths. I like this one because five does go nice and pretty into ten. And what do you do to five to get ten? Well, you multiply by two. Two times two gives us four-tenths. Four tenths can also be written as a decimal, 0 0.4. When we say 0 0.4, when we say it correctly, four tenths, we're saying the same thing. Four tenths the fraction, four tenths the decimal. Same deal. All right, example two, seven eighths. Now, eight does not go evenly into ten, so that's not going to work. Does eight go evenly into a hundred? No, it doesn't. Eight does go evenly into a thousand. Um, a lot of people don't know that, though. Well, let's go ahead and we can do it this way if we want. See, eight times what is a thousand? Oh, gosh, how do I do that without pulling out a calculator? It's actually 125. But you know what? Honestly, we should probably just divide uh, like I said, most people don't know that 8 goes into 1,000, and then coming up with 8 times 125 to get to 1,000, that's not for everybody. If it is, hey, great. Do 7 times 125, and you're good to go. But just in case you're not, let's divide. Top divided by bottom, that top number goes in the box. 7 divided by 8 and we need to put our decimal behind the 7 and go ahead and bring it up into our answer. We'll need a ninja right here, placeholder. It's there, but you don't know it's there. Because 8 didn't go into 7, but it will go into 70 8 times. Okay, now we're just doing some long division here. 70, uh, 8 times 8 is 64, from 70 is 6. We need another ninja. 8 goes in to 67 times for 56. And then 8 goes into 40. Oops, sorry, need another ninja there. 5 times. And we don't have remainders. We don't have remainders when we do this. We go until the decimal terminates or we see a pattern. It starts repeating. All right. Uh, so, but there's our decimal right there. 0 0.875 is the same thing as 7 eighths. They have the same value. They're just written a different way. 7 times 125 is 875 out of 1,000. Again, uh, 0 0.875. One more of these. 4 ninths. Does 9 go nice and pretty into 10? No. How about 100? No. Does it go into a thousand? Uh, maybe. No, it doesn't. Nine is not going to go into any of our decimals nice and pretty, so we're going to divide. Top divided by bottom. And nine won't go into four, so we add our ninja. But nine goes into forty four times for thirty-six. And 40 minus 36 is 4. Need another ninja. 9 goes into 40 four times. And, oh, I think I'm starting to see a pattern. 
every time I subtract, I get 4. And when I make a, another placeholder, I get 40. 9 always goes into 40 four times. It's always going to give me 36. I'm not going to keep doing this forever. I'm just going to say that 4 ninths is equal to 0 0.4 repeating. The bar over the 4 means I have 4s that go on and on and on and on forever. So that's changing fractions into decimals. Let's talk briefly about changing decimals into fractions. Start off, you have to say the decimal correctly. I say the P word a lot, but if you say a, de a decimal, actually how it's supposed to be said without saying point, what you're saying is also a fraction. You just have to write it down and make sure it's reduced. Make sure it's reduced. All right. So example number four, we have 0 0.7. Oh, oh, but wait, I'm not going to say 0 0.7. I'm going to say it right. I'm going to say 7 tenths. This is the tenths place, so I have 7 tenths. Can 7 tenths be reduced? No, it can't. Nothing goes into 7 and 10 except for 1, so that's it. Example 5. Not going to say 0.45, but I will say 45 hundredths. The 5 is in the hundredths place. So we have 45 hundredths. And this can be reduced. What is the largest number that goes evenly into 45 and 100? I think it's 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay? It all starts with being able to say the decimal correctly first. Alright, we do have one more. 4 and 57 hundredths. Again, we're working with the hundredths place. 4 and 57 hundredths. 4 and 57 hundredths. It's a mixed number. Uh, depending on what the directions say, um, maybe you're going to be asked for a fraction and not a mixed number. Let me let me write this out here. This is a mixed number. If you wanted a fraction, uh, hopefully you remember you do the denominator times the whole number, 100 times 4, and then, let's see, I'll do a times right there, and then a, a plus 57. So our, our fraction would be 457 over 100 if we wanted an improper fraction. Um, I think most of the time we'll be okay with a mixed number. You just have to read the directions and answer what you're asked. All right, so that's uh, basically fractions and decimals, being able to convert back and forth. If you have questions about anything you saw in the video, write them down. Be ready to ask in class, and we'll see you soon.